This right here is the best Final Cut Pro effects tutorial for beginners. I'll teach you everything you need to know about effects, including where to find them, how to add and edit them, and a shortcut to save and reuse effects in just one click. And at the end, I'll hook you up with some free effects that will save you hours. But first, let's inspect effects. Final Cut Pro comes with some built-in effects for your pictures and your videos and your clips, and it allows you to change things like the size, the position, rotation, crop, distort, and a few other things. So select your clip in Final Cut Pro and open up the inspector. If you don't see it over here on the right-hand side, click on this button with the three sliders. And under the video inspector here, you can see the built-in effects we can change. We can change things like the opacity of the video. We can change its position, its rotation, its size. We can also crop it and trim off the sides or the top or bottom. And then we can distort it as well using these distort functions right here. We can do all of that right here in the viewer as well. I'll right click on my clip and select transform. And now if I click and drag on one of these corner handles, I can change the size. I can also squish it or stretch it out. And if I don't like it, I can always click up here to reset. If I click down here in the bottom left corner of the viewer, I can select other options as well, like crop. And now I can crop the image or I can distort it. Under crop, I have this option for Ken Burns. That allows me to quickly add a zoom in or out effect. And here's what that looks like. If I want to undo any of that in the inspector, next to the section, I can click on this little drop down arrow and I can select reset parameter and it resets everything back to how it was before. So in addition to the built-in effects, there are clip effects that we can add as well. Click on window, go to show in workspace, and then select effects. Or just press the effects button right here, or press Command-5 to open it up. And in here we have a ton of effects that come with Final Cut Pro. They're divided into categories over here on the left, and then our effects are here. We can skim over an effect to see what it looks like in the thumbnail. If I hold down Option while I skim, it will change the main parameter of that effect so that I can see what it looks like. So here it's changing the amount of the blur while I skim over it. If I need more space, I can resize this effects browser by clicking and dragging here on the side or on the top. I can also search for an effect. So I'll click on the search bar and I'll start to type the name of the effect I'm looking for, and there it is. It will only search in whatever I have selected though. So if I wanna search all my effects, I'll need to select that, and then I can start typing and search in all of them. You can also turn on and off this little category browser over here by clicking this button. And that just gives you a little more space to see all of your effects. The video effects are here at the top, and if we scroll down, the audio effects are here at the bottom, and I'll show you those in just a little bit. All right, let's add some effects. Let's go down here to the stylized category and look for simple border. I'll drag and drop that onto my clip to add the effect and you'll see it added a little border around the video. Now select your clip and find a new effect to add. Let's add this halftone. With my clip selected, I can double click on it and it will add it to my clip. Now remember, the order of the effect matters. Look at this. My border has the halftone effect applied to it because of the order I have the effects. So go over to the video inspector and take a look. The order in which the effect is applied is from top down. So it applied the border and then it applied halftone to everything before that. So if I don't want the border to have halftone on it, I can click and drag up on halftone to move the order. And now halftone is only applied to my video clip and not the border. Final Cut has default effects that you can quickly add through the menu. Click on edit and then select add color board. Or even faster, we can use option E to add it quickly. So I'll have my clip selected and press option E and the default effect, which is the color board, has been added to that clip. Now, if I want to change my default effect, no problem. I'll find my, my effect that I want to make my default effect and I'll right click on it and then I'll select make default video effect. Now when I select my clip and press option E, it's automatically added to my clip. If I want to go back to the color board as my default effect, go up here to the color section, right click on color board and select make default video effect. A lot of the effects have different controls. Let's take a look at a few of them. Go to the blur category and add zoom to your clip by dragging and dropping it on there. You'll see we have these on-screen controls up here and we can see the effect is happening to my clip. If I click and drag here, I can move the center of the effect around. And then this controls how much of that effect is happening. If we look in the inspector, these are connected to these published parameters. So here's our amount and I can change it right here as well. 
and then I can also change the center of it as well. I can add a little bit of swirl to it and I can also change the look of it. Now go to the color preset section and let's add a color preset. Uh, with my clip selected, I'll double click on it to add it and we have a change already. If we look in the video inspector, we see we have a color board. Click on this little triangle to open it up and we can see what has been changed. For this one, just the exposure has been changed to give it a little more contrast. Now go down to stylize and add bad TV to your clip. This makes it look like an old retro TV, the one I used to watch growing up. In the inspector, we can change some different things. We can crank it up and make it really bad. We can change the static type here and we can also adjust the blend mode and we can tweak the roll. You can also keyframe your effects. So select the beginning of your clip and in the inspector, let's put a keyframe by clicking on this button. Move forward a few seconds or a few frames and then add another keyframe. Click the back keyframe or the previous keyframe button and set amount to zero. Now our clip starts normal and then over time it transitions into that effect. That one happened really quick. So I'll press control V and I can see my keyframes right here. I can click on this one and drag it to the right to make that transition happen more slowly. I'll press control V again to close it and then this is what it looks like. A little bit slower. One thing that's frustrating about Final Cut is it doesn't have a built-in fade in and out effect. If I want to fade in and out with this clip, I have to keyframe my opacity. So I made an effect so that I can change it with one click, a drag and a drop. So in my effects, I'll go to Stupid Raisins and I have it right here, fade in and out. I'll just drag and drop it onto my clip and now it fades in and then it fades out. Not only that, I can change the fade in and out times right here. I can make it a slower fade in or even faster fade out. And I can offset when it starts to fade in and I can offset when it ends fading out. It's a really handy effect. And one of my customers wrote me the other day and he says, I use this on every single project. And if you're interested, I'll show you at the end how you can get it for free. Time out. Are you enjoying this video? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will see it? I'd really appreciate it. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to save and reuse effects. But first, let's look at audio effects. Audio effects are very similar to the video effects, except they have to be used on a clip that has audio. So I'll go down to audio, we'll go to the EQ section, and I'll drag and drop this EQ onto my song. And you'll see here in the inspector, under the audio inspector, we have an effects section and channel EQ. A lot of the same rules apply for audio effects, like order and customization. So I can click on my audio effect. If I click here, it opens up this cool little editor and I can tweak and change my audio effect. All right, select your clip, go up here to the color inspector and select color wills. Let's increase our shadows a little bit and then decrease our highlights. And then let's add a little bit of color to it. We're gonna make a VHS kind of VCR looking effect. So I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth to it by clicking and dragging towards the warm side here on global. Then let's go to blur and let's add prism and sharpen. Let's go back to our video inspector and let's set prism to about an eight and then sharpen around an eight or 10, we'll go for a nine. Oh yeah, it's starting to look more and more like a VCR. Then go down to stylize and add film grain and our good old bad TV. For film grain, set it to realistic and set amount to like 25. That looks pretty good. Under bad TV, set amount to five and let's play that back. Yeah, it looks kind of like an old VHS tape. It's looking good. Let's say I want to apply those effects to my next clip. I'll select my clip and I'll go up to edit and then I'll select copy or even faster, I'll press command C to copy. And then I'll select my next clip and I'll go up to edit and I can select paste attributes and it brings up this window here. And now I can select which attributes or which effects I want to include. I'll leave all of those checked and then I'll press paste. And now this clip has the same effects to it. I can also go up to edit and select paste effects or press option command V and it will automatically just paste all of those effects and attributes to the clip. I won't have to mess with the dialog window. But there's an even faster way to copy and paste or reuse effects and that's called an effects preset. So I'll select my original clip and at the bottom of the inspector I'll click on save effects preset. I'll give it a name, we'll call it VCR and I'll select the category I want it to save in, and then I'll select which attributes I want to keep in there. So I wanna use all these effects, and then I'll click Save. Now, if I go over here to my effects browser into Stupid Raisins, I'll see my effect called VCR. So now I can click and drag that onto my clip, and I've added that effect quickly and easily, and it's something I can reuse over and over again in different projects. I can remove effects by selecting the clip, and in the inspector, I can deactivate effects by unchecking these little boxes. If I wanna remove them completely, I'll click on it until I get this yellow box, and then I can press delete to delete it. I can also hold down shift and select a few effects at once, and then press delete to remove them. I can also select my clip, 
and go up to Edit and select Remove Attributes. It pulls up this dialog box and I can select which effects I want to remove. Let's say I want to keep those two, so I'll deactivate them or unselect them, and then I'll click Remove. And now all of them are removed except for those two. I can select the clip also, and if I want to immediately remove all effects, I'll click on Edit, and then I'll select Remove Effects, or I'll use the keyboard shortcut Shift Command X, and all the effects are immediately removed and deleted. Remember earlier when I showed you that cool fade in and out effect? Well, I want to give that to you for free. You can get it in my All-Star Pack. It's a collection of 96 titles, effects, and transitions. It's worth $138, but you can get it for free. Just click the link in the description below. Happy editing!